Hey friends, we're going to be drawing a Christmas gnome. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. We're using markers to draw with, and we're also coloring with markers at the very end. So we're using marker paper to draw. Let's first start with our gnome's nose, and we're going to draw it towards the bottom of our paper, but in the middle, so that we have room for the really tall hat. I'm going to draw an oval shape right about here. Yes. Good job. Okay, then we're going to draw a line coming out to this side and a line coming out to this side too. So this is the bottom of our gnome hat. Next, let's draw a short line coming up on the left and also coming up on the right. And then let's connect these two lines together at the top. And then let's also add extra things to our gnome to make it into a Christmas gnome. Let's add antlers. We're going to draw, kind of like our Easter uh, gnome, we're going to draw the antlers coming out of the hat. We drew ears coming out of the Easter hat. We're going to draw a little curve right here and also a little curve over here that matches. And we want this to be inside of the hat. So we're drawing it inside of, yes, of these two lines. There you go. Then let's draw the antlers. We're going to draw a line that comes up like this and then we'll curve up. And then we can curve around. I'm going to add more little bumps, two little bumps like that. Then let's draw, I'm going to draw another bump that comes up around and back down. Let's add a bunch more. I'm going to draw, we're going to try to draw these and turn it into reindeer antlers. And, uh, Let's draw another one on the side, and then I, I think we could leave it just like that. <laughs> we can <laughs> we could add even more if we want. Oh, maybe we could add it. No, I'm gonna. Yes, we're gonna add one more. <laughs> I'm gonna draw another one that comes in like that. <laughs> you can change your drawing any way you want. I love how big these antlers turn out. Yeah. Now, now let's try to match those same antlers on the other side. So I'm gonna come out like this, up. Uh, so I'm looking over here, trying to match. So we have one bump. Then we're going to curve around, draw another bump that's a little taller, and then I'm going to draw one that's coming out to the end. And then we'll draw the bumps on the bottom of the antlers. And it's okay if they don't look exactly the same. And it's okay if your antlers look different than mine. Because the most important thing is... To have fun. And... To practice. Practice. Yeah, remember to practice. Yes, those definitely look like reindeer antlers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's draw the rest of the hat. Oh, let's draw a guide point up here at the top. So we're going to draw it right in the middle, directly above the nose, and I'm going to draw it really close to the top of the paper. And then we're going to imagine this coming straight down, and we're going to try to get to right here. So we're going to use our eyes, and you can also draw this wobbly. It doesn't have to be straight. I'm going to draw up some bumps, and I'm going to imagine it going behind the antlers and then connecting down to the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Draw wobbly or bumpy, and then we'll imagine it going behind the antlers and connecting down here. Let's leave the hat just like this, and we'll come down here and let's draw our gnome holding on to a present. So first, let's draw the top of the present. I'm going to draw a straight line that comes across about that far. Then let's draw the side of the present coming down further on each side. And then we can connect these at the very bottom so we have a square. Now let's draw our gnome's arms coming down and connecting to the present. So I'm going to start here on the side. We're going to draw a curve that comes in and stops here. Then let's repeat that same curve on the other side and connect into the present. Now let's draw our gnome's mittens. We're going to draw a sideways U-shape inside of the present, and we'll do that same size sideways U-shape on the other side.
Then let's draw the arm for our gnome coming up on each side. Next, let's draw the beard. We're gonna start here on the left side. I'm gonna draw a zigzag line that comes down and then connects to the arm. And we can do the same thing, zigzag line that comes down, connects to the arm. Then we're gonna imagine that beard going through the arm, coming down on the bottom side and connecting down into the present. And we'll do the same on this side too. Next, let's draw our gnome's shoes or feet. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out, around, and connect to the present, and the same thing over here. Curve around and into the present. Now let's add more details to our present. I'm gonna draw the ribbon coming straight down the middle. Then we can draw the bow on the top. We'll draw the knot first. I'm gonna draw upside down U. And then we'll draw a diagonal line coming up to the left and then down to the present. Then the same thing on the right side, up to the right and down to the present. We could also add a little wrinkle inside of the bow. Let's add one more present over here behind our gnome. I'm gonna draw a line coming out, then down, and then at the very bottom, connect back into the shoe. And then we can draw the same thing that we did over here. We could change this a little bit. Let's add two lines down the middle and then maybe a ribbon going across this way. There you go. And then if you have little space, you could add that ribbon coming through on the other side. Then let's draw the same steps for the bow. I'm gonna draw the upside down U and I'm only drawing part of it since it's behind our little gnome. And then I'll draw a diagonal line coming up and then down. And then also a little wrinkle inside. Oh, let's add holly also oh, yes. to the hat. I'm gonna draw some berries up here on top of the little antler. So there's one berry, maybe another one right here, and then one more right here. Then let's draw one leaf coming out this way. I'm gonna draw it curving up this way, and then let's draw a little arrow on the end. And then we're gonna draw a U-shape connecting back into the berries. We can draw a couple U-shapes connecting in. Let's draw another leaf coming up this way. So I'm gonna draw the curve. Then we can draw the end of the leaf. And then we're gonna draw U-shapes connecting down to the antlers or to the hat. We did it, we finished drawing our Christmas gnome, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but first, let's pick out the colors that we're going to use. Okay. We're using our Art for Kids hub markers. If you have the same set, the colors we're using are 59, this is a light green, 15 red, 46 is uh, just kind of a regular green. We also have 103 brown, and 25 is a peach color. Also CG9 is our dark gray. We also might use some other colors, but these are the ones that we have for now. If you don't have the same Art for Kids hub markers, that's okay. You could use different markers, crayons, pencils, or even oil pastels. Yeah, you ready to fast forward? Yes. a few extra things. He added another present over here, added some blue for the shading, and also I used a different green. I used number 59. This is a lighter green for the packages, and then I used a slightly different red for the berries and also the presents, and that's number 11. Then we're also using a white colored pencil to add little highlights on the shoes, the mittens, and also the hat. Do you want to use a white pencil? Yes. <laughs> Oh, and I also used a darker brown, 94, to add a little shadow on the antlers to make it look more 3D. But you can leave all of these details off to keep the lesson a little easier. 
Check, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our Christmas gnomes. They look super awesome. I hope our art friends will color their drawings too. Yeah, it looks so much better colored in. You can pause the video to match our same coloring or you can color any way you want. We also used our CG1, which is a light gray, to add shading to the bottom of our elf and also the beard just to make it look more 3D. Yeah, we hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Christmas gnomes. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.